being uh, it being six o'clock, we are going to call the building committee meeting to order. Uh, approval of the minutes of the last meeting. Did everyone read the minutes as yes. submitted? I'll make a motion to approve the minutes as printed. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thanks. Do I want them back? Okay, here you go, Mark. Thank you. And the mail. I got mail. Is a postcard from Jim telling us that he and missed us on his travels. I did that so Bob wouldn't think that checking the mailbox was a useless effort. I, I got that postcard twice. <laughs> See? Where was he? Uh, he was in Washington, D.C. Oh, it's that's a picture two of the White House. Weeks yep. Okay. Uh, Sherry, do you have, have you caught your breath? Hi. <laughs> Hi. You're just, you're just next on the agenda. <laughs> Seat's not dry I'm yet. sorry if I'm late then. No, you're not. Okay. May we have an update on the schools? How's that going? Yep, so train update. The solar carports will be started at the schools. We're just waiting for supplies. That's our biggest issue. Um, Panels? Yep, yep. Um, and then a boiler has been replaced over at the hay. Now, the, the, the panels that are going in, are they doing them with the L? The All schools. Yep. Are they fixing that drainage issue? I don't know about There's that. There's a pond out there. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I can find out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sure. And where yeah. was the boiler replaced, please? At the Hay. The Yale school. school. Okay. They're both working. They're both working. Yeah. Last month, that was on, right? Yep. Yep. So they just did the other one. And then the athletic complex, we're at the 50% schematic design phase. Um, we're looking to be at 90% in November. So uh, we're still dealing with the sewer issues over there. Um, so we're working through that. They had to gather some more information. And then our next meeting, we should be able to, to know more about the sewer hookup and what we're going to do there. Okay. Need a pump station? Right. Does it need a pump? Um, well, we're trying to get. I think it's more how it's connected. Okay. So because it kind of goes back and forth, yep. and then we're trying to get both schools going directly to the sewer hookup. So that's the goal. Um, and when is the next meeting? The next meeting. Sorry, we had to change it. And then um, we are on schedule for bid and shovel in the ground by May of 2022. It is Monday, the 18th. So they go out to bid in February? Yes, that's the plan. We're still on schedule. Oh, with Mark. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. We're still on schedule for all of that stuff. So the meeting is Monday? Yep. And then we're going to have um, the larger community meeting. And that's the one that Jim is involved with as mm -hmm. the representative. We were trying to do October 4th, but because a couple of things need to be pushed back, we have to push that a little bit later. So we, I think we're thinking about sometime in November we'll have the larger community The larger meeting. community meeting? Yeah. And hopefully before Thanksgiving? We should be. Veterans Day around in there? Yeah, we Just, should be. Yep. Okay. Yep. So where is the schools going to have their athletics? Through the chair, please. Oh, Brian. Actually, I have a question. So the, um, the, where are they going to have their athletics in this field? This so we're going to have to use other... Right, exactly. So, yeah, we've, we've done it before when we had issues with um, rain and drainage with the fields. We had to use other schools, um, or we've used, we've had to rent Wheaton, or we've had to rent the YMCA, like up near um, the downtown, the, the YMCA across the street from the downtown pizza place. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes, I'm sorry, that's, yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. okay. We're trying to strategically plan it. So that it's not a huge impact, you know, based on the seasons. And it's all finished next spring, right? Right. So once we get started, um, then it should be pretty quickly. I mean, we're trying to decide which field to do first, mm -hmm. so that we, you know, we can get one done and then have sports play on that um, and work that way. Okay. 
Sounds good. Thank you. Yep. Any other questions for Sherry? Okay, moving on to the Town Hall Community Center portion. Um, Mike, you had something to bring us up to date on? Sure. Um, just to give you a couple updates. Um, we were kind of shocked recently when we, I was driving down 140 and I saw them starting to raise the uh, catch base and I'm like, what, what's going on? Like, no one had talked to us. I asked Keith. No one had talked to him. I said, are they getting ready to repave? And then I saw the grinding machine. So I did email the state. They responded back. I said, you know, unbeknownst to us, you're paving an area right where we're going to be building. We don't want to be stuck with a five-year moratorium from opening the roadway. And they said, we won't be built way that far, so we will be all set. Um, and out here, we met with the engineers last week, and they're going to bring an eight-inch water service over to the property. Um, whether We don't know if we'll need eight or six, but you can always, as long as you have the eight there, you can go down. Uh, they're going to keep a hydrant on it for now until uh, we start construction and tie into it. Um, and uh, we are working to with this, bring the sewer line over. Um, and also, I asked them, is gas on this side? And you know, gas is on that side of the street. So we got to try and get some numbers to the gas company, see if the service we have is suitable or if they're going to have to bring a new gas service over. So we'll be working on that. Who do you contact at the, uh, is it... Uh Bay State Gas? Um, Who's the gas company? Eversource? No. Eversource. 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 Okay. Good luck with that. All right. <laughs> Thanks. Are there any questions for Mike before he sits down? Mike, is there any plans to um, heat with gas, the, the new building? We don't, we don't know yet. I mean, that'll be up to when we get the architects on board and then they do the design. I know uh, DBVW had always talked about the fact that um, it would be electric, that would use uh, the heat mm -hmm. pumps and the, uh, um, so the gas would only be for uh, the generator. Yeah, that's but what I'm saying, yeah. That'll all come out during the design, I'm sure. Yep. Right, thank you. Okay, thank you, Mike. Uh, Steve, would you introduce everyone? Stand up and deuce. <laughs> it's your turn. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Good evening, everybody. My name is Steve Kirby. I'm with Vertex. Uh, this is John Lemieux. Hello, Hello nice to meet Vertex. you all. You're your old PM. Um, we're here today to go over what we um, anticipate is our initial schedule to get a uh, designer on board. Uh, don't or designers. Designer or designers, yes. Uh, our plan uh, right now is to put out two RFQs for uh, each, uh, one for the senior center and one for the town hall project. Uh, we are planning to post to the central register. Let's, this. Let, let me hand this out. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we do have a, a You have copies for us? Yeah, I brought copies there. for everybody. Thank you. We took a stab at this. Um, that way. Same thing. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So, so just I put this together. Um, so the thought is, you know, if we don't need to have, like, if we have a small, small group or a couple people to bounce an RFQ off of, we could put an ad in as early as this week. Sit down if you want. Um, yeah, well, you sit there. And yeah, sit over here. Sit over here. Um, we could go in as early as this week. And if we did that, uh, if we did that, you know, basically it would post in the central register on the 20th. We would have to make sure that the local paper, as well as Combi's, has it, uh, has both of those as well. We would need your help, Combi's, to know who in the town has that license. And it's a typical 10-day uh, minimum for the return. Um, you have to have that out advertised for two weeks. We get the responses back. Then 
what's in here, this is what's open for discussion, you know, and what works for you guys. Um, because review and shortlist responses, you know, so if they come back on the third, you know, as early as the fourth, we're divvying them up, sending them out. And what does the, what is the group that re is reviewing those look like? Is it a subset of this group? It's the Smaller entire group? group. Whole, entire group, okay. Mm -hmm. So then it just comes down to how many did we get and how quickly can you get through them? You know, the workflow out there is starting to come up again. You know, we may actually, you may get five per job. Some of them may overlap. Um, you, I think we look at this and say it's best to review this as who would the best designer be for a town hall? Who would the best designer be for a senior community center? And if there's an overlap, say great. You know, if we can, if we can get an economy from somebody, but I think going out for one designer for two types of projects, you're gonna end up with some shoes that don't fit right. You know, you're gonna get somebody who might be really strong and maybe they've done something like a community center. So put them out separately and if we can get some synergy and there's some overlap, hey great, you know, we can talk about that and kind of deal with that in the interview process. So we basically said, okay, if we take a little over a week to review these things, we meet again, I, I picked a Monday, because I know you can, I think you guys usually meet on Mondays, um, the 15th to say, okay, here's the short list, get out, we get in touch with them, and then I gave a week for each, a week to do the interviews for the um, senior center, not knowing, uh, excuse me, not knowing what date would work best for all of you, and then the following week do town hall. Thanksgiving, I put it on there just so you could see it. Looking like contracting with the selected firm sometime in the first week, week and a half of December. So basically looking like, okay, that second Monday in December, you know, we could be, we could be go for a kickoff meeting. And again, we've had no discussions with you as far as which job wants to start when, talked about getting designers in, what lag, you know, if we get them in and then say, okay, you're gonna wait a little bit before we start. I haven't had any of those discussions with you, but this is, our take on going after and getting some butts in the seat for, for both of those jobs. I don't think I've met you. Uh, I'm Brian McCann, member of CM. One, one of the questions I have. Excuse uh, me, Brian, through the chair, please. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I thought you left the room. No, oh, I did okay. not. <laughs> um, yes. So, what are your thoughts on which one first? I think the town hall was a little bit simpler in terms of the permitting side, but the city center might be a little challenge with oil. I mean, we really haven't taken too deep a dive into that yet. I mean, which one do you need first? I guess he's the like, you know, that's, that's, that's what I would say. Jim? I would say we need the senior center. We already have a town hall. Yeah. We have a senior center, but it's way under capacity. Yeah. It's unsafe at any time, but it's more unsafe in the winter time, although we won't be in this winter. Right. We're hoping. <laughs> Uh, we, I appreciate your fast schedule, I think everybody else does. Um, my personal feeling is the senior center is the top priority, um, and then the town hall, but that's just my personal feeling. What's the consensus of the building committee? Excuse me. Bob? Uh, <coughs> oh, is I'm there sorry, a way, Bob Briscoe. Is okay. there a way to, that you could run both projects at the same time? Oh, of course. Yes. Sure. Yes. Yeah, without question. I mean, that, we were sort of going in that direction with, with putting everything out at the same time, but we, 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 this is really our first discussion with you as, as a group, so trying to gather up some, some additional information. But uh, we were looking at going, you know, going simultaneously, whether it's two designers or, or one designer that may be acceptable you know, mm -hmm. based on their experience, which would sort of be a good thing, but we're not going to just take someone because it's convenient. They got to have the experience yeah. and start and start running those um, designs parallel. And who's available and what their firm looks like and their sub, you know, the trick for us time. is who does the designer have for their sub consultant team and how busy is that team? Because the architect will come and you'll have a good discussion about them and their capacity, but the reality is, is the critical path runs through their consultants. And how busy is the mechanical engineer? How busy is the structural engineer? So we want to, and how often have they worked with that team? You know, we found the most successful projects have a sub-consultant team that, you know, it's five or six different firms usually that come together underneath the architect. How often have they worked together? The best, the best projects usually have a team that has worked well together so that they, 
get to know each other, they get to know each other's schedules, you know, because if one of them is slow, it throws off the whole thing. It doesn't matter if the rest of the team is great. If the MEP engineer is over, overloaded, you know, it's, it, it just it impacts the whole project. Mark. Uh, thanks. A couple things. I think, I think both projects should start at the same time. You had given Mike a quick schedule. Yeah, that was just a talk um, about some overlap. Yeah, so and even even with the previous architect that did some of the feasibility studies, realizes senior center probably designed quicker. We're assuming, so I think by default it'll probably end up in construction sooner, which is obviously a need for the town. So I think if they both start at the same time, I think the senior center will naturally um, be in construction faster. And then uh, on the RFQs, are they already written for the two? No, but it's, it's, it won't take us long okay. because the reality is it's very statutory of what yep. it needs to be. So yep. basically what we do is we will take a lot of what you had in the OPM RFQ for the history and the background. Yep. And then we will make it specific to a live, uh, excuse me, specific to a community, senior community center, specific yep. to a town hall. And I think... We maybe acknowledge briefly that the town is also working on another project, but we don't tie them together at all. And let's see if there is if there is some overlap, then yeah. that's great. It's yeah. great and it might not be great, because the reality is if it's a firm that is has capacity, we might crush them with two jobs on the same mm -hmm. schedule. Yeah. And that same sub consultant team with the same schedule. Yeah. So we'd want to make sure, you know, in each of those applications you do get in the DSB form, there's an indication of size of firm. You yeah. know, so somebody who might be perfect for this but has eight people, might, if somebody who might not be quite as perfect but has 20, you know, we're gonna have to weigh all of that when yeah. we put that together. Uh, two more questions, yes, if I may. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a roll. Um, will it be clear in the RFQs that um, a team or teams could submit on both? Right. Oh, I think I, I think there's so you no. Just, you just want to clarify I don't think there's that. Any reason to yeah. not say that, yeah. And and I guess a question for Mike. I'm assuming the two previous architects are not precluded from submitting. Did he leave? No. Are they? They are, precluded, no. They are not. A, they are not. They can bid. Okay. Okay. Uh, my question for you is who I mean, who would review the RFQ for the town? Because it's a quick turn. They put that ad in on Thursday, work with Mike to make sure we get all the check boxes done. It would be my, myself and, um, and Mark usually reviews our cues for the group. Okay, great. So that would do that. Great. And um, while we're reading this uh, for the interview shortlist, um, I think we need a subcommittee of the building committee to do the interviews. <coughs> and I know uh, we would like Mike to do it. Um, myself as the chair, do I have another volunteer to sit in on the interviews? Depends when they are. <laughs> <laughs> Brian and I still work for a living. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's, that's, that's really sad. That's really sad. <laughs> so it depends when How they are. How inconvenient. How inconvenient. <laughs> um, okay. But yes, um, I could do it. Brian? I said I could do it, but uh, I'm, I'm on vacation the week of Thanksgiving. Okay. Week, so. so just for clarification, I just put that out there. None of those dates well, are. Well, yeah, it's, yeah no, I realize this, but I, I do like the tight schedule. I, I believe in, I don't believe in hurry up and wait. I believe in yep. go. Uh -huh. So, yes. Um, it would be good if the RFQ just should say the interviews are that week so oh, they no. know so what I would do is if you, if you folks are good with this schedule yeah. mm -hmm. I would basically take these because most are the RFQ typically they want a schedule they so want they a understand schedule. yes I'm going to call you for an interview and give you three days notice and yeah you know, especially just, for the folks for the senior center it's a short, turnaround. A short turnaround. turnaround yeah it's yeah. a short turnaround for so sure. make sure they're aware yeah so yeah. let's stick with these dates for the interviews Bob would you be interested in yeah I would okay it, um, yeah, I hate to say that, but uh, <laughs> I'm on a big job in Westport, so I could be tied up there for a, a month. No, I, I don't want to commit myself because I'm going to be messed up there. I know I will. Well, I assume that during the day or at night, when are you thinking these interviews? Whatever you prefer. Nights wouldn't bother me. Whatever works for you. I mean, the firm days would mess me the up. The firms if, will come out at night. If you put it, if you tell them what the windows will be, yeah. they will. They'll be ready for it. Great. 
Yeah, we've been doing five, that six, night seven. many times because of the committee yeah. has jobs has during job. the day. Poor people. <laughs> <laughs> so, the other things I that feel are sorry important. For you. <laughs> it's to just a shonda. To give them as much info as we can, you know, where do you think it would be? Would it be in a room like this that has technology? Those kind of things can only help, especially if we're going to turn it around fast, mm -hmm. yeah. to let them know that, you know, um, well, if we stick with these dates, then we will be able to book this room. I, it, depending on the library hours, if not, we can book at the cable company. Okay. Let's do them in the evening. Um, okay. That works. Five, six, seven, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven. Okay. Let's get it over with. Okay, so now we'll assume that we interview three that each day. Yep. Yeah. We'll give them 50 minutes, and then there'll be a 10-minute break in between. In yeah. between. Yep. Jim? Um, I know you're going to set up a subcommittee. Will other committee members be allowed to sit in as long as they Good keep their mouth shut? Okay. Right. Good Fine. public interviews, yeah. Okay. And I assume, um, not looking directly at Mark, since you did such a wonderful <laughs> um, matrix for yeah. the OPM rankings, mm. uh, 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 while we're all, because we will all be reading you know, yeah. if you could give us a ranking sheet sure. to good. narrow it down. So do, am I, should I assume that we should use similar, obviously we'll have to change the criteria, but use a similar system to what you had in the OPM? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're familiar with that. We know how to work through the form and to read that. Perfect. Some of us. As far as, as, far as some of the nuts and bolts, the, the proposals, where should they be going, going to town hall? Should yeah. they? Yes. Okay. Right. Yeah, they, should go, they should go to Mike. Yeah. And, and how did you have it set up? Uh, I, I don't recall the OPM was was it multiple copies of the proposal? Or was it one hard copy, one one thumb? It drive? was a co copy for each of us. Okay. So there were. Were there eight? Mike? Eight. Yeah. Because we'll need to put that count into the uh, eight into hard, the eight hard yeah. copies. Eight eight hard copies for the community. Mm -hmm. And one electronic, Steve. And one. So we can put yeah. it in the file. One yep. electronic. One, one and then I distributed them to the committee members, and we had a date certain to respond back. Great. And then any, we will assume that any of the forms that were required in the OPM will use those same forms that the respondents mm -hmm. have Tax assigned. Tax and Tax okay. and everything, yep. yeah, yeah sure. please. Yep. Okay. And then the only, the last thing would be form of agreement. Uh, for design services. We were talking about that just, just before the meeting. There, there is none, so we, if we have something. So the question will be, uh, we can either, I think we should defer to town council for that. Some councilors are very specific about, here, use this one, and some say, no, use the AIA. Um, the AIAs are very friendly towards the architects um, and usually are edited. Um, but okay. if we can talk to council, we'll just ask them what they would propose for a designer agreement. We don't have to have that immediately in the RFQ. We could provide that by addendum, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. you know, as long as it gets to them before the selection before process. Before the selection process. Yeah. But they may Brian, be looking for something that we we might offer as as a form. Brian, did you have a yeah, question? Yeah, I, I I personally prefer using the medium forms, just because of the reason you said they're not architect leaning. That's just my opinion, and they're also written for public construction, where AA are not. That's just my opinion. Whatever the town decides to do. So. And Mike, you'll work with council on that? I will. Thank you. We're also, uh, it's not on the schedule, but we'll need to give a designer briefing session. So uh, I was thinking the, the uh, 27th, which is a week after. Uh, the RFQs are available for their um, for the designers. Um, thinking that we would start over at the senior center parcel at ten, which should be a fairly brief review. That'll be October twenty seventh. Yes. Ten a.m. for senior center, and then come right over to town hall um, at eleven, mm -hmm. and. Um, the parcel in the town hall because that may take a little bit longer. And would you be walking with us on that, or I would need someone from the town? The 27th. 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 Of October. 
Yep, yep. 10 a.m. Uh, I'll, I'll be away. Okay. But I'll have the building commissioner there. That's fine. That's yep. good. Yep, just need that. And just I'll need join that. you. Oh. Okay. Okay, so that's the 27th. We're starting to make progress. Yeah. This, this, part's, this part's easy. When you get, well, when you get 24 responses each to review. <laughs> Depends on the criteria. Yeah, no, for sure. And I will say that I was remiss. I think we should go around the table and introduce ourselves so you know who the building committee is. I do apologize. Mark Gershman. I'm actually the clerk as well. Jim Slattery, Vice Chairman. Brian Boucher, member. Bob Briscoe, Briscoe, <coughs> member. Bob Briscoe uh, representing the senior center. I should probably give you a list. Dino O'Brien, Chair. I should probably give you a list of email addresses and things. I, I, I did I did copy the list off the website. Okay. It's trying to okay. It's going to take a while putting names to faces, though. But no, we'll, we'll there get will there. be a test. Yeah. <laughs> there will be a test. There will be a test in four minutes. Good luck. Um, okay. Uh, any building committee comments on the proposed schedule? Nope. Oh, looks good. Eh? Start. Faster Exciting. the better. Yep. Brian. Not a uh, schedule question related to this but overall project schedule mm -hmm. we've bounced this around a few times and we're talking about potentially starting some of the demo on the existing property that they're building now um, just to accelerate things and we said when we had the okay model we discussed a little bit right. about i mean that's easier to do demo is easier to do do you have hazmat reports on uh, yeah that was the next yeah. yeah so what i would suggest is maybe you could do that in Get the, get the designer on board, and whoever the selected firm is, use them for additional services to help get whatever we need for that. You know, because you're going to, you would need to do some measure of a survey. Um, you would, you would need some limited amount of plans and specs. Mm -hmm. There's not a whole lot of plans, nope. um, but there are specifications on what to do and okay. where the debris has to go and if there is hazmat and any kind of abatement and that sort of stuff. Um, you would want them to kind of look at that. So that will be, Steve, if you can make a note that we remember that we put in the background that we may have early demo. may use that. For, but early demo is great because it can yeah. certainly help um, get out and if there, God forbid, there is an issue. Yeah, no it's not much. holding up the construction of the project. We've got the whole design time to kind of work out if there's a, a hiccup in, yeah. in the existing building that's going to come and down. The, and then the second thing is uh, drilling. Yep. You're going to hold up, you're going to wait for the design to be on that as well. It's not drilling. We'll have this geotechnical services. We'll be drilling in the winter. Oh, yeah, that would be, yeah, yeah, yeah. That one would of be, the first and things that's really, that's one of the first things yeah. we would do to make sure that we know. need that for design. Make sure what's under there. Because one of the things Mr. Uh, Bob over here wants us to see stuff moving because we keep getting phone calls or some people get phone yeah. calls. What are you guys going to start? What are you going to start? So they see something. I think if you see the building come down, I'm like, yeah. and then you say, well, we'll kind of stop for the winter. So, you know, that's this, in all reality, this would put us with a designer in December. Um, depending, I mean, even a building that, you know, your budget's 11 million, the, even if the building was eight of that 11, it's still, there's still a process to go through, you know, and whether it's eight or 18 or 28, there's a design process to run through. So the reality is, is you're looking to try to break ground a year from now. It's kind of an aggressive schedule-ish. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. And yep. for a simpler building, you know, you, you're all saying simpler, but they're they're it's simpler than the than the town hall, probably. Does it mean they're not complicated? No. Because the minute you tell me you need a commercial grade kitchen or something in that building that we haven't <laughs> talked about yet, you know, it, it, it raises the ante. Mm -hmm. I think the plan it, where we have a break point is you get a designer on board, you know, where I'm going with this is people want to see something happening. The reality is, is they may not see something happening for a year, you know, and to try to get it in for next year is just a question of the right design with the right capacity and how, I don't want to say quickly, because I don't want you to think they're rushing, but there are benefits to being done and efficient because if you can get started and bid this thing this time next year, you're not waiting another five months and you're into 23 and 
who knows what happens, you know, and that sort of stuff. So um, people who are saying, when am I going to see something? The answer should be, it's still going to be a while, guys, a little bit. You know what I mean? Because, you know, we'll get somebody on board and understand quickly what they see. And if we have, listen, if we have a, if we have a firm with capacity, that's great. And that's a great question for them, too. How quickly do you think we can design something like this? And that's a great interview question, you know. Um, even, you know, there are some questions we like to keep to ourselves and hit them with, but that might be one I would have the selected firm prepare for. Okay, guys, if we, show, if we get started with you and there's a go in December, you know, kickoff meeting, you know, a few weeks from now in December, when do you think we could be bidding this project? And let's hear, that's a wonderful topic to bring in as a presentation, if, especially if it's a building that seems like it's terribly needed and see what that, see what we get for, be amazed what you probably get for presentations of materials from folks on something like that. Just for my own information, um, what is a reasonable time? I mean, I, I, I also want to see this move ahead, but I want to see it done right. And if it takes time, it takes time to do it, to do it right. I don't want to rush because, no. you know, some people, you know, me included, want to get it done. 100%. But. I mean, the harsh reality is bidding takes a minimum of six weeks. Mm -hmm. Two weeks, you know, two weeks to advertise for filed subs, another two weeks for GC bids, and it's the minimum. Two weeks to contract, six weeks just for the, for the process. For the process. If you wanted to see activity happen in October of next year, why I say October is if you start any later, you can't really put concrete put in the ground in November. I mean, you can, you gotta pay, but you're gonna pay a premium okay. for it. Mm -hmm. So it becomes that question of the premium for cold weather concrete versus waiting until the following March when the ground starts to thaw and starting there. So if let's go with the, the October option for a minute. If you're mid-October, the reality is minus six weeks, you're at 9-1, okay? That leaves you eight months to design the project. That's, 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 that's aggressive. Yeah. That's, that's really extremely aggressive, yeah. aggressive. Because you haven't really, the question, be, and so the question for you all becomes the work that's been done with the studies and everything you have, how convinced are you that that's your program? If the answer is, hey, this is our program, we spent money on this study, we buy into this, great, we give that to the next company and don't go through that whole process again of, asking you what do you need what do you want to be you know what i mean right. so we've Space got our square footage stuff. we just don't know what it's going to look like yet that sort of thing if you cut that process out eight or nine months is possible if you're starting over again it's not you there's no way you can do it that fast. no well we're, yeah. we're not going to be starting over again yeah. but i want to make sure that when the bid documents are delivered that they've got everything in there that we will possibly have to face and so that's, that's why I don't want to rush it. No, I'm with you 100%. You know. know, because the part of what our value, you have to give us the time to do our job, mm -hmm. to take those things and give it to all those people that we have in house, to rip through them all and say, problem, 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 disconnect, like, and, and to do that. Otherwise, compressing it just for the sake of time, somebody's going to forget something. So, yep. if that's which it's good that we're having this conversation I mean, because ultimately if the schedule is you can now you can take a year and put it out to bid around the holidays but never over the holidays either before or after and be ready and do submittals and everything so you can bid it 14 months from now that's much more doable and we're waiting for the weather to break so the clock starts in march for the contractor you know, you say we're going to issue a notice to proceed sometime 3 three one three fifteen. We see what the weather's looking like. <coughs> we have to wait till four one. Fine, it, it's out there, and we know that they have a good long spring and summer to be able to put a foundation and get it up, get it closed in. You know, a building like that is probably a twelve month build. Right. Um, the question question then becomes: if you start too soon in March, you may have to come back for final paving and that sort of stuff. So again, we have to. What and when, we don't know yet. We just know, we know we're building a senior center, but we don't know exactly what it looks like and you know they haven't designed it yet. But that's probably a more realistic time frame, I think, to, I, for all those concerns. Yeah, no, I think that's good. Just, just a minute, Brian. 
But I think um, one of the reasons I wanted to have the discussion now be is because of the conversations that have been going on around town. Yeah. And if folks watch the Zoom presentation again on cable TV, you know, this is kind of a way to get the information out that it's not, you're not going to see a shovel in the ground in, Mar in March of 2022. You know, so. Until March of 2022. Until March of 2023. That's why right. I said you're yeah. not going to see yeah, a right. shovel in the yeah. ground in March right, right, of 2022. Right. It's, it's not imminent. Right. Yeah, it's not imminent. Yeah. Brian? I said, I agree with what he was saying. And one of the things that kills design budgets, because I've been on that side of the table, is exactly what you said. How many times is the floor plan going to change? So we need to make a decision that we can tweak it a little bit, but we can't be program it. It is what it is. And how do we make that determination when there's so many different departments? Who makes the final call? We have to go through planning board to do it, or is it Mike? No, I think Mike, as the uh, leader of the town hall, would determine the final layout, and uh, Beth from the COA yep. okay. would de determine the final layout. Your planning board would be your, your site review yeah, and, and so forth. Yeah, that's, they don't usually get involved not, in the interior. Okay. Every town's different, and some like oh, to yeah. see the inside. Yeah, yeah and let, let me be clear. Like, so, you know, I'm not worried so much about the floor plans that you've seen so far. Worried about the program. Programming. You, you can't, I, I wouldn't expect any designer to take someone else's design and go, they may look at it and go, I hate this. I would never lay it out this way. Let them have their time. But if the community room is, you know, 1,500 square feet and you are good with that, okay, design me a, draw me a 1,500 square foot community mm -hmm. room. You tell me one floor, two floors, how to lay it out, you know, what's upstairs, what's down. Where the office, where the kitchen, let the new designer do that. But to you know, to what we're talking about is, as long as that list of program, if we're pretty solid that that's not changing, right. that's great. That's a wonderful starting point. So it's a point. big step, and it yeah. will at least, it will accelerate. It might not work to squeeze it into this year at all, but it will make it but easier. But at least it, yeah. it's efficient. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mark. Yeah, we spent a lot of time and effort on the programming, so I think we're good with the programming. Both the, buildings. Yes. yes. Well, yes, we, we devoted at least a year to the program development. So I, so I agree. The full floor plan may change, move well, some people yes. around, but the program is... is so I would make sure that these RFQs right. that we would provide links, whatever is easiest, links to the documents or send them those documents to say, hey, not reinventing the wheel. Many of them are up on the website right now. The town is yes. they are yeah. up on right. the website. So we can put a link. We can yeah. find we just put a link right, right the to the town website. Right. Yeah, because um, that's where they are currently. Then we would that's go ahead and say it's, that. It's, we it's would easy say for them to pick it up from there. Programming is largely done. Mm -hmm. The idea is for the selected designer to come in, take this program, you know, put their stamp on it. I shouldn't say stamp. They'll take that literally. <laughs> <laughs> Tweak it. To, to, to put their own input into this square footage, but if the program is saying it's a 10,000 square foot building, that's what you're building. Don't design me a 15,000 square foot building. Yeah. Yeah. Brian? Said, just back to what I was saying before, what happens, and you probably can uh, contest this, that you get this much money to design this job, and the more you eat up at the front end, hurts you on the back end. What I mean is they cut corners on details. Yeah. I've seen it all the time, and that's always because it's, it, people don't want to keep them this part stretches out at the beginning. And I think mm -hmm. the control programming and the space planning to keep that down, it just moves into 60 percent design even faster. Right. We don't want right. to change anything by the time we get to 30 and 60. I think we're pretty, no, as, as, if, I think we're in consensus that we're pretty good with, with program yep. design. That's great. Where yeah, well, we have. It is carved in stone. <laughs> <laughs> were you just, I'll save that question. Never mind. I'll okay. <laughs> I was going to ask you about the study portion, but we'll save that. All right. Right. And I think we're good with schedule. Yeah. I mean, yeah. if it doesn't get advertised until January of 2023, that's that's fine. Yeah. I think works fine. So you, what what we're saying is, even though the building may be quote unquote simpler, you may be on exactly the same yeah. for chapter for, yeah. for two projects. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We might be so. Okay, Jim? I just want to say I don't want, is it John? Yes. I don't want John to get too used to Monday nights because January 1st we switch to Tuesday nights because they have to take care of me. Because <laughs> I, I work Mondays. on Monday nights. So. I've had my meetings on the first of Monday nights too. 
Okay. Okay. Oh. Right, so, <laughs> so in January, we will move to Monday nights. Tuesdays. 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 I'll That's still fine. come on Monday. Life will be good. How many times a month do you need? Well, depends what's needed. Depends <laughs> on what's needed. You know, um, after we get through the initial design selection and moving into to the design phase, to be honest with you, we're going to be meeting when you tell us you have something worthwhile Absolutely. Um, to tell us or to approve an invoice. And, and you're okay with there being a smaller working group that that works with the designer through the, you know, the designer's going to want to sit with Michael and talk about programming and space and the needs of the employees mm -hmm. and someone's going to want to sit with the council on aging. Council on aging director will do yeah, that. Yeah, and deal with kind of the specific questions. But I, so I mean, I think monthly is fine mm -hmm. right now. And I think if you have flexibility, yes, we will tell you, okay, time to, time to, time to meet. We want them to have enough time. You can have death by meeting, especially in the design Oh, yes, days. no, I, them, and I do not draw. believe in death by meeting. No, uh, we do not meet to just get together and no. say <laughs> we met. We have too many working people. Paralysis <laughs> by analysis. Yeah. Or traveling so. or whatever. Okay. Anything else to come before the board? I think the only other thing I just want to add is, you know, is when going back to the interviews, mm -hmm. we have a, a number of questions that we sort of, you know, use as a, as a format and tailor it to the different projects, which we can share with you and, and see if Great. you, you sure. and you may have some that you really want to be asked, um, similarly to you know, what was in the, in the OPM. So we don't need to do it now, but we, as we get closer, we'll, we'll share and get those okay. questions. So we're asking each, each designer basically because the same thing. Because with 50 oh, you have minutes, to we're going to give them like a 20 minute presentation and 30 for Q and A. Right. And we'll want a Catholic, it's, not, it's a long time, but it goes by pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, we'll want to come up with maybe five to eight questions that, you know, you ask one, you ask, you know, everyone kind of asks the same question. That way we kind of have a similar basis to compare them. And if other questions come out of that based on, you know, the first two interviews you see, they give you a great question to ask the third one. That's fine, but let's still ask them kind of the same set. That way it allows us to have a good um, basis of comparison for so our firm. Okay. Anything that you would need to get to the committee, if you would send to me, and then I will distribute out. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we don't uh, I was just going to say that. I hate to be the one to say it, but we do a lot of communications by email, and certain things that a uh, chairperson wants our opinion about, she will send it out to us, and we will yeah. get back to her usually in a timely manner. Yeah, so. we'll be sure to communicate just with you so that we don't end yeah. up. We, didn't, we never do an all so that we don't Great. break no, any, open any yeah. rules of yeah. open meetings. Great, yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Anything else? Next Shall meeting. we set the date of our yeah. next meeting, which is? So if the schedule holds. May, uh, November 15th. Yes. Okay. Here. Uh, we'll see which room is available. We'll see which room is available. But yes. Yeah, this this will be a meeting to, to go through the Six responses. Everybody yeah. Six o'clock, yeah. Say who they like the best. Who they and, like, yes. I mean, we. I guess the thing is, are you? we're going to interview three. I'll put that in the RFQ. Am I saying at up to th or at least three? Three. Sometimes you get so close where three and four, you may want to interview a fourth. You know, I hope you can keep it to three. I mean, we just did one in Norfolk for, right. and we went from three to five, and the fourth and fifth minimum made a three. Minimum of three. Yeah. Minimum of three. Minimum of three. That's how I'll say it. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And I'll go with the dates. Look, um, is that only a, so the questions. Yeah, Veterans Day is in here somewhere. That's right. Um, Veterans Day is always 11. on the eleventh. Yeah. That's right. They changed it. Yeah. They okay, what? No. It's yeah. always on the day. It's always on the eleventh. Always, always on the eleventh. No matter my wife's when it birthday. Is. How can I forget? It? <laughs> they have a parade and it's a holiday. So yeah. we can talk. Uh, I, I will leave the ranges in here for the interviews. But at the if there's a date that you all look at this and go, hey, this would be a better date for me for the town hall. This would be a better date for the senior center. Let us know so that we can make sure we're, we check schedules and whatnot. Um, but I will leave the range in there in the RFQ so that folks can.
We don't have to give them the exact. Yeah, we won't give them the exact. Right. But if it's an evening ballpark. interview, it's better for us. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that's yeah. fine. Okay. Okay. Most of them are used to that. Yeah. yeah. All right. Make a motion to adjourn. We had a whole slowdown. <laughs> well, we set a date. What? Uh, well, well, Mike Just here. a second, Brian. Well, well, Mike's here. Do we get any um, more information about potentially putting solar panels at either one of these buildings? <coughs> no? Okay. That was kind of something. They're putting them at the schools. And one of the things we brought up was, is there any way you can ask? Senior <laughs> Senator, maybe that ties into the letter. Do you any questions we, we talked about what we talked about? So one of, one of the things that will come up with each of these buildings is we're going to talk, there will be a meeting at some point once the program is locked in, once the design starts, there will be a question about HVAC and how, what kind of system you want. And that has impacts for first cost, it has impacts for operating costs, it has impacts to what Mike talks about when you tell Eversource that all you want is gas. Put a gas generator that'll be the most expensive gas line you've ever built because they're no longer you're no longer a customer. Yeah. So all of those things kind of have to play will play into it. And sustainability. And, and at that time, go in that direction. At that time, as this starts and we start sort of meeting with the designer or plural, it will be a question of how much of that do you folks want looked at as part of this. You can always incorporate it, but if you tell us that you want it for sure on a building, well. Depending on the way the building is situated and the type of that may dictate the type of roof that you have, yep. you know, if it's oriented wrong, well, maybe it's just a flat roof. Well, I don't want a flat roof. Well, do you want a pitched roof or solar? Because maybe you can't do both. But that's good to have that discussion. It's mm -hmm. a question of how important that is, you know, to the committee, to the townspeople, you know, to the what that does to the cost. You know, I mean, we talk about. So I, brought up, I think we talked about the carpool kind. Of, yeah. Was the one we talked about in yeah. the parking lot. How's it doing at the schools? The, the, I will tell you, and all good things to talk about, but I will tell you that the carports, we did um, 20 of them, uh, about 20 carports worth of size at the South Pro <coughs> Police and Fire Station. The carport steel alone was about $400,000 because of what it has to stand up to. And we tried to get somebody to put solar on there. When we tried to lease it, we get no takers because the amount of solar that it the electricity that it generates at a school, it's hundreds of cars. At a senior center or a town it's hall, not. it's a couple dozen. It doesn't pay. Benefit. Now, you may want to buy it. Like, we, and this is something like if, if you really felt you wanted to do this, we would have the designer price this as part of the design. Listen, it's easy to, to put a schematic design estimate and say, you must throw it in it to put in 20 spaces of covered parking with solar. And you can at least know what that number is. What I'm going to tell you, it's probably cost prohibitive if you weren't planning, if it wasn't already in that 11 million. It, the bigger which, it gets, the which it's not. The, the it's cost not. gets the cost gets more acceptable. The the more spaces you're putting in. The, the way the rest of the town is working, it's a new cost over the life of the project to train. So we're not even paying for it. Oh, There's all okay. these incentives and stuff. That's why we talk. So if they, I mean, if, if that's a program that could be extended to this yeah, that's somehow what, that's through the design, then I think you absolutely talk about it to figure out okay, how many. It, the question becomes how many, how many yeah. spaces, and if Train is willing to help fund that because it's part of the bigger program, that's fabulous. Um, if you have a partner um, in South they didn't have a partner, and right. that's why it just was they put up the tops, but they scrapped the idea at least for now um, for solar, but. We put the pipes in the ground so that if at some point later they change their mind, we had a way to get the, there. the wires into the building without having to yeah. dig up the parking lot. So, yeah. yeah, we could do. We could certainly do that kind of approach. Too. Okay. Okay. I have a motion on the floor. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Thank you very much for coming. Aye.